In the north of England, Croft is the venue for round seven of the Dunlop Radical Championships. The Enduro and Biduro series are contested over nine rounds on some of Europe's best race circuits and run as part of the Great and British Dunlop Motorsport Festival. This circuit is a former World War II RAF base. Taking us on a tour of the two mile lap is Nigel Redwood. From a driving point of view is, is a big challenge. It's quick and it, when you get it right, it's a good feeling. When you get it wrong, <laughs> yeah, it can go seriously wrong. So it's a challenging course. There's a quick corner, slow corners, and uh, there's everything here. Start of the lap, you come out of a very slow hairpin and down the start, finish straight. Um, you pull six down the start, finish straight, going into Curvo, which is quite a quick right-hander. You've got to go into Hawthorne, so you come out of that in third, short shift to fourth to try and take the chicane flat, which leads onto the long straight. Coming into Tower Bend, which is a right-hander to go up the hill to, to the S's. And it's that right-hander there that you come down to third, you take that third, and then that's where the exciting part of the track begins for myself. You, you're third, all the way up to sixth, through Jim Clark S's, and Barcroft flat. And the complex, it's just about getting in tight, slow corners and try and get the speed down as smoothly and quickly as possible. We get the action underway with the Dunlop Radical Biduro Championship. The competitors use SR4 sports cars powered by 1200cc motorcycle engines, producing around 190 brake horsepower. Guy Hodgkin won both races in the last round at Thruxton to close the gap in the championship on series leader James Saggers. You know, no matter what you do, it's, it's always going to be tight and the drivers keep getting quicker and we're all, we're all getting quicker and quicker every race and uh, it's, it's good fun, it's been a good challenge and I'm really enjoying it. So. Excellent conditions for the first race of the Great and British Dunlop Motorsport Festival here at Croft. It's the Radical by Juros, thumbs up from Guy Hodgkin, he is on row one, alongside Daniel Rowbottom, who's qualified in pole. Row two sees Malcolm Barnett and John Hewitt. On row three is James Saggers, who leads the championship. Alongside him is Rob Weldon, making his first appearance of the year. Toby Newton and Roger Bromley are on row four, with Jacob Greaves and Nick Sinfield on row five. And Andrew Ferguson and Mark Pyle, row six. Ian Simmons and David Franklin on seven. And Ian Moore and Terence Woodward, surprise, surprise, at the back. We're on board with Daniel Robottom, the lights go out, we're going down towards Clairvaux and it's a poor start by Robottom, what a great start by John Hewitt, he is going to lead into turn one, Guy Hodgkins there as well, Robottom down in fourth place, a great start too by James Saggers from row three, as number 18 Nick Sinfield leaves the pits, but James Saggers from row three, the man who leads the championship by 19 points over the man in third place, that's Guy Hodgkin. I'm car 99, but James Saggers, row three, up into second place. But for how long as they come into the hairpin for the first time, Guy Hodgkin is all over James Saggers. We're back with the man in fifth place, that's Daniel Rowbottom. Really disappointing opening lap for him. Here we go again, side by side. Now John Hewitt and Hodgkin, I think they touch here. Bang, there is contact, there is a collision. But they still manage to keep it going straight. James Saggers inside John Hewitt. Well, it's taken him three and a bit laps to get through, but he's passed him at Tower Bend. James Saggers now leads. But Guy Hodgkin in car 99, that's not good news for him. He really needs to finish this race ahead of James Saggers. And at the moment, he's got John Hewitt between him and the race leader. Well, it's such a really fast circuit, Croft. Here we go again, the replay at Tower. Hewitt moves out wide to try and tuck in, but James Saggers up the inside, the door is open. Saggers moves through. Guy Hodgkin looking to get past John Hewitt, but also number 66, Malcolm Barnett, trying to get into a podium position. He's fifth behind Daniel Robottom. And this is the man in fifth place, Daniel Robottom. Malcolm Barnett in front of him, Guy Hodgkin in front of him. Up into the hairpin, here comes Rowbottom, goes into fourth place. So he pushes Malcolm Barnett back down to fifth. But still, Saggers leads, John Hewitt is in second place, and John Hewitt is part of the RPM team, the same team that runs James Saggers. 
Guy Hodgkin looks. Oh, Guy Hodgkin touches the back of John Hewitt. Contact was made. But John Hewitt, well, he is really doing a great job. He's riding shotgun for James Saggers. Let's look again at the collision, if you can call it that. This is where Hodgkin trying to get through on John Hewitt. Makes contact there. Oh, John Hewitt, he's got a problem. John Hewitt's gone. Well, he was protecting James Saggers from Guy Hodgkin. Nick Sinfield's got a problem. Oh, he's got a very big problem. Dial 999. That car is aflame. Well, he's pulled over on, onto the side of the track, but it's going to need some assistance quick. So Nick Sinfield is out. He's OK. Two laps to go. Still James Saggers, but Guy Hodgkin has got to get past him. Running out of races, only five more to go in this championship as Sagas goes past the slower David Franklin. Oh, Hodgkin spun and gone. No, oh, he's managed to keep going. Now, whether David Franklin had anything to do with that inadvertently, and Nick Sinfield's car is still ablaze. We wait for the marshals to extinguish the fire. But it looks like as if it's going to be James Sagas' race and really is burning away. Could be the end of Nick Sinfield's weekend. Here's the race leader, though. Into tower for the final time in this race. He leads. Daniel Rowbottom is in second place with Guy Hodgkin third. And it looks as if that's the way it's going to remain as they cross the line. Now, Guy Hodgkin, there's smoke in the background there. Hard to see if it's from his car. But here comes James Saggers. It's going to be another victory. It's going to be win number six for the season for James Saggers. He's going to extend his lead at the top of the standings as well. Daniel Robottom seems to be on for a repeat of the second place he got at Thruxton, but Guy Hodgkin is coming in fast. It doesn't seem to be a problem with Hodgkin at all. Oh, Hodgkin's really trying. We're looking at James Saggers. In fact, Robottom's caught right up. The slower traffic holding them up into the hairpin, but it's going to be one, two, three. Saggers, Robottom and Hodgkin as they cross the line. And so it is. What a great race. What a great way to start this weekend here at Croft. Guy Hodgkin finds himself on the podium for the eighth time this season, but his title challenge is evaporating as James Saggers extends his lead with his sixth race win so far this year. It was a struggle from fifth, but we made some places up on the first lap, and made the most of everyone having cold tyres, and um, just put foot down really from there on, so it was an excellent race for me. The Dunlop Radical Enduro Series is a Le Mans style event with driver changeovers halfway through the race. Here at Croft, the championship is solely competed in by the SR3 sports cars, which run on Powertech Suzuki 1500cc engines. James Richardson and Ben Devlin currently lead the championship, but the man on form is Nigel Redwood, hoping to reduce their points advantage even further this weekend. We've now got to a point where we're really happy with the car and we're, we're pushing on. You know, we've, we've won five out of the last six and all we can do is just try to keep winning and put the pressure on uh, Ben and James, who are, who are leading it. 99 is the car of Barry Gates. He is on the front row alongside Nigel Redwood. Nigel Redwood driving on his own this weekend. No Alex Mortimer to hand over to at the halfway point in the race. 31 then is Nigel Redwood. He's in pole position. Also on the front row alongside him is Barry Gates. He'll hand over to Anthony Dunn. Row two, it's Ben Devlin. Now, later on, he'll be handing over to James Richardson. Those two lead the championship ahead of Nigel Redwood at this moment in time. We look further down through the grid. And then on row seven, it's the new Pro 06 car. Tim Greaves and Simon Moulton will be racing that one. It's a rolling start then, and it looks like a good one too. And we're on board with Ross Kaiser. Going up into Clervo. great start from him. Great start too, though, from Nigel Redwood. He's going to lead into turn one. Coming through as well is car 46. That's John Cook. 
but we're with Ross Kaiser in second place. Really quick, the SR3 is around the Croft circuit. The quickest of all at the moment is Nigel Redwood, but here comes Ross Kaiser side by side, getting the power on, and it's Kaiser who leads as they come down into tower, but Redwood's going to have another go, is he? Round the outside, going to try and tuck in nice and tight, but Kaiser goes wide, but manages to hold on to first place. A 10-second penalty for Ross Kaiser, a judge to have got the power on before the lights went out in the rolling start. So he may be leading on the road, but take 10 seconds off, he's going to be round about fifth place. Here comes car 21, that's Eugene O'Brien! Oh, he and James Swift, Swift into the gravel. O'Brien manages to keep going. They made contact, and it's James Swift who's the loser. So game over for him. Here we go with the replay. Just tucked his nose in a bit too quick into the corner. James Swift, nowhere else for him to go than into the gravel. Ross Kaiser coming in then for his handover. John Stanley will now get in the driver's seat. They are third at the moment. Of course, they've got that 10 second penalty. It's Nigel Redwood who still leads. Ben Devlin is in second place, but James Richardson will take over the wheel from him shortly. As out goes John Stanley. And the debate's now beginning as to how they got that 10 second penalty. But here we go with John Stanley. Oh, maybe trying a bit too hard to regain those 10 seconds. He spun and lost even further time. Oh, he's not happy, is he? John Stanley, it's not been their day. Someone else has been in the wars as well. That's the car of Duncan Vincent and Ian McMurdo. Nigel Redwood has got a healthy lead and he needs to win. He needs to eat into the advantage at the top of the championship standings, currently enjoyed by Ben Devlin and James Richardson. But it's Nigel Redwood as long as he keeps it together, which he's going to do. The chequered flag is out. Nigel Redwood wins. Great performance from him. After the post-race meeting, it was determined Ross Kaiser hadn't infringed the rules. His penalty was discarded and he therefore does take third, but it's yet another victory for Nigel Redwood. And he's understandably delighted with that one. Win number seven of the season. I knew the first stint we were going to have to push hard. And as uh, long as we could keep with the front in the first stint, I was confident enough in the second stint that we could pull a gap. So it went, went according to plan and we were able to look after the car a bit towards the end, which is good. Dunlop Radical by Giro Race today. Is James Sagers on for a double? Well, he's on row two. Daniel Rowbottom is the man in pole position. Guy Hodgkin, he really needs a win if he's going to keep his championship hopes alive this weekend. James Sagers is on row two. He was on row three for race one and he won it, so he has a better advantage this time around. So it's Rowbottom and Hodgkin on row one. Sagers and Malcolm Barnett on row two. John Hewitt's on his own on row three. Nick Sinfield should have been there, but after his car went on fire in race one, he won't be starting this one. Then it's Weldon and Newton, Bromley Greaves and Ferguson and Mark Pyle. They're on row six. We're on board with the man in pole position, Daniel Rowbottom. Not the best of starts from him in race one. The lights go out. Oh, great start from Hodgkin. Also, great start from Malcolm Barnett in car 66. It's going to be Malcolm Barnett who's going to lead into turn one. Hodgkin is going to be Sagas. Oh, Sagas is in there as well. Sagas and Hodgkin. Sagas manages to keep it on track. Rowbottom's gone from pole position down to fourth. Great start from Malcolm Barnett from row two. Rob Weldon is in fifth place. There is Rob Weldon, car number three. 
That one completed then. It is Malcolm Barnett who leads. Guy Hodgkin is second, but James Saggers is challenging their side by side into Clairvaux. It's going to be Saggers who goes second. Oh, Saggers! Superb driving. Here's a replay into the hairpin. We're on board with Robottom. Saggers goes up the inside of Hodgkin. Hodgkin dives up the inside of Saggers. Oh, they touched as well. Malcolm Barnett is racing away with this one. James Saggers is second, Guy Hodgkin is third, Robottom fourth. And again, Hodgkin knows he's got to get past James Saggers. This is not good for Hodgkin. He can see the championship or any hopes he had of the championship slipping away as Robottom comes into the hairpin. In fourth place, Robottom up the inside of Guy Hodgkin. Saggers is on the outside there as well. Saggers is fourth as they cross the line, three abreast. Oh, contact there between Robot and Hodgkin, and again, bumping and barging, and Saggers goes back up into second place. What a race. Well, well, well. Fantastic. This has got to be one of the best races we've seen from the Bajiro class this season. Into the hairpin. Oh, Robottom locking it up and getting up the inside of Hodgkin. Great manoeuvre from Daniel Robottom. What a fantastic race this is. Here we go, we're on board with Robottom again as we come into the hairpin. You'll see him go sideways slightly in a second. There, up the inside of Hodgkin. Hodgkin no way through, Saggers is also a barrier. Malcolm Barnett, a big, big advantage. He's not won a race in Radical by Giros. He manages to stick it together as Guy Hodgkin now tries to regain third place from Robottom. Oh, he's through. Oh, Hodgkin sideways and into the gravel. Oh, dearie me, Guy Hodgkin is out. That's the end of his race and I think the championship. Here we go again with Daniel Robottom. There goes Hodgkin, too much, too soon. And into the gravel. Robottom now challenging Saggers for second place. Trying to go up the inside, he's got a power on. Great corner speed from Daniel Robottom. Goes up into second place. Malcolm Barnett, though. By far and away his best performance of the year, Malcolm Barnett. A couple of second places at Silverstone's been his best so far this season. Into the hairpin for the final time. He'll be really enjoying this one. So he's going to take the chequered flag, but the fight is going to be on for second. It's Robottom who takes second place. He may not have won, but it could well feel like a victory for James Saggers with title rival Guy Hodgkin failing to finish. He'll be grinning, just like race winner Malcolm Barnett, who records his first ever Dunlop Radical by Duro victory. Uh, just maintaining towards the end, just backed off. Thought it's the first win ever, so um, brilliant thanks to all the team. They've been superb. Um, Radical, fan from Slipstream, being excellent, and also my parents were a um, very small team. That means a great deal. So, yeah, great race. The title, it would seem, is heading into the hands of James Saggers, yet with two rounds still to go, there's an awful lot of race mileage ahead of us. And as we've seen in this series already this season, anything can happen. Switch our attention now to race two of the Dunlop Radical Enduro Championship here at Croft. Nigel Redwood, he is the man in form. Number 30 is Ben Devlin. He'll start this one. He's on row two. Barry Gates is the driver in 99. He is going to be the first away. We'll hand over to Anthony Dunn. Devlin will hand over to Richardson. Row three is Eugene O'Brien and Chris Milner. Row four, Swift and Gibb and Henry Fletcher on his own. Row five, Paul Thomas and Eric Swart. They'll be driving on their own as well. As per usual, the rolling start. And who's going to lead into turn one? Somebody is kicking up the cement dust. Therefore, it is John Stanley who moves out of the way. But Stanley, good start from him. Not so good from Barry Gates from row one. With the best start of all, Nigel Redwood, but here comes Ben Devlin at tower. Has to hold back. It's Nigel Redwood who leads Ben Devlin in this race, but it's Devlin who leads Redwood in the championship. We're on board with John Stanley. Now somebody's going off, is that Stanley? It could well be. Phil Gibb in car five, spins! Oh dear, 
Pedro, dear. Well, 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 Phil Gibb. Through goes Ben Devlin on Nigel Redwood. 88 is Eric Swart. 